That moving white dot is officially called 1998 QE2. It's a massive asteroid that has its own moon. Scientists believe it's older than planet Earth. It's a visitor from the outer asteroid belt. Paul Chodis is a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Researchers there are using high-powered telescopes and radar to track the 1.7 mile long asteroid. I'm sure people are relieved that this is not going to hit the Earth, but if it did, what kind of damage would an asteroid like this do? This is getting up close to the size of the asteroid that uh, caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. So if an asteroid of this size should hit the Earth, it would be millions of megatons global catastrophe. And so we want to find as many of these as early as possible. Find them before they find us. Researchers in NASA's asteroid program find about 80 new asteroids every night. They believe they have identified 95% of the large ones in the solar system. But smaller asteroids are harder to find, like the one that streaked across Russia at 41,000 miles per hour in February. The shockwave damaged 7,000 buildings and injured 1,500 people. Well, the Russian uh, asteroid was a small one, very small, tiny asteroid in fact. NASA has proposed a roughly $2 billion astronaut mission to capture an asteroid and study it. How do you capture an asteroid? We have a very high-tech spacecraft with ion propulsion. It has a large bag, an inflatable bag, and we would move around the asteroid, match its spin rate, and then cinch the bag. So this is like taking a giant hefty bag into space it and is bringing very back an asteroid. It's very similar to that, yes. They would then launch that asteroid into the moon's orbit because it's stable. It's a good place for astronauts to study it. And while this may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, Maurice, the ultimate goal here is to one day be able to divert or destroy a large asteroid headed towards Earth. Okay, Ben. So in the unlikely event that an asteroid were really coming our way, how much notice would NASA actually have? Well, the good thing is time is on our side. Generally, NASA knows the orbit of these asteroids years in advance, so they say hopefully there'll be time to go divert it, destroy it, or do something with it before it hit the Earth. Hopefully is right. All right, Ben Tracy for us tonight in Los Angeles. Thank you.